before we go through the walkthrough, I just want to go through one thing with you. Uh, let's go to pages and all pages. And then to our download area. And I just want to talk about the download link that we put in here. You see it says download here. Let me just bring this up because there is a problem with it when you use the WordPress built-in download link thing here. And what the problem is, is that it puts this HTTP in front of it like it would for any other link. But what that ends up doing is putting two of them on here. And this only in this case because we're using the built-in S2 file download, which already can, includes this HTTP. So we're getting a double. So when you're using insert link, in this case only, get rid of this thing off the front or it doesn't work. So let's update that. And then let's update. And now let's go have a look at what our download page would look like at this point. Okay, so it says hi, my name there, and then all our product downloads. And because we are able to access the custom case capability because we're admin, we see the download link. Now, if I had a left it like it was, it wouldn't work, but we click on this and we do get the download. And you'll notice down at the bottom of the page on the left, you see the URL and then you see file download key equals and a huge long sequence of letters and numbers. That is generated by the system for your particular browser, IP address, username, and some other things. So if somebody grabs this, does a copy link, and sends it somewhere else to somebody, it just won't work. So that's how the, the protection works there. Okay, so at this point we're ready to start with the run through. And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna log out here And then we're going to go to our sales page that we have on here. And then you'd see this. Now, you might want to change this login register that we have on here to something a little more meaningful. Let's say something like, to purchase, please log in or register for free or something like that. There's something a little more detailed here. Okay, so let's click on this. And then I'm going to need to register. Okay, and then I'm going to create username, email, my first name, my last name, and then I can register. Now the problem is that because it's using the default WordPress registration, it's not letting us pick the password as a new user. So what it does is it emails us a password, then we have to come back in here and log in after that. But what we want to do is change this so that they can put their own password in, click register, and then continue without waiting for the email. So I'm going to show you how to do this part now. So what we want to do is go to plugins and add new. And then up here in search, we're going to type in simi, C I M Y. And then we want the semi user extra field. So we'll install now and activate. So what we do now is go down to settings. Then we go down to semi user extra fields. Okay, and then you can just roll down, way down until it says WordPress hidden fields. Okay, and then you want, you want to do is click show password, show confirmation password, and then I've already checked these before. That's why they're here. Otherwise, they're unchecked. You have show password strength meter if you want. And then those are the only ones we need. So let's save this. Okay, now let's log out and we'll continue with our registration. So register. 
and now you see we have a password and a password confirmation and then it gives us password hint here so let's go ahead and register okay so put everything in here then your first name Click register and we're all ready to log in so this really streamlines the process okay now because we just logged into our account it brings us right to the download area and you'll see that it doesn't have us as having access to it and so we know this is working it says check it out here so once they log in they can go right to the sales page by clicking there and here they are so what they're going to want to do now is pay and you're going to be using a paypal sandbox account for this part okay so i went and got one of my accounts in my PayPal sandbox and put in the password and we'll log in okay so we can just go pay now so it'll redirect us Okay, and then and there we are there's our download page so we can click here now and there it is okay so that's the process now let's go and have a look at what happened in the back end so I'm going to log back in as admin Now let's go to users and all users and I'll just show you what the custom capabilities thing did. So here we are, Camper John. So let's look at him. And we'll roll down here. And you'll see here under custom capabilities, you'll see best widget ever. Okay, and then any time he buys something, it'll put a comma after the this one and append the next one. So all the products he buys will be shown here as custom capabilities. Okay, so that's how the whole thing works. Now, just one more thing I want to show you here. What we're going to do is go back and just make a change to the page just to show you how to quickly put another one in. So let's edit. So the easiest thing to do when you set up a new product as far as creating this page is concerned is to copy the old one. So let's copy this whole thing and do control C or you can right click and use copy and then down one. And you say product two. And then we can call this best widget ever, ever, ever. Okay, and then we could, we would make a button that is the one for, and we, we would call it best ever, ever for the custom capability. See, we have best widget ever, so we could say ever ever and when we create the button we need to use this same thing here under the custom capabilities and then we would change this sales page here okay so I change the custom capabilities that we're going to use on these two lines best widget 
ever, ever, ever. And when we create the button, we need to use the same custom capabilities. So I'm just going to copy that. Oh, we'll do that in a sec. And then download here. We need to edit this. And then we would just change this to whatever the name of the file is. There. I didn't upload anything, so I'll just leave it the same. And then you would just change this to the new sales page that you created. And it's as simple as that to get it done. And then, of course, you go and create the button for that page and the page itself. So let's update this. Now let's log back in as Camper again. Okay, and here it is. So download here, and then the second product, check it out here. So this is how it works as you add your products in here. Once they log in, if they haven't bought something, they'll say, oh, I wonder what this is. They check, check it out here, which points to your sales page. In my case, it's pointing to the same page as this one would be, but that's because I didn't create one. But otherwise, it would point to the new sales page with a buy button on it for them and they can go from there. So that's how you can set up a customer product portal.